Inside this video right here, maybe you're getting your first EMS job. Let's talk about 911 versus IFT. Here we go. Hey everyone, Evan here, the paramedic coach, back at you with another video. If you're watching this video right now, hit subscribe, hit like, and make sure to watch the entire video. You're gonna to wanna to stay and watch this entire video. Now, what we're talking about right here is we're talking about 911 EMS versus IFT. Now, 911 EMS, what that is, is exactly what it sounds like, emergency medical services. So it could be a city, could be a private ambulance, could be a county, there's a variety, it could be volunteer, variety of different options. But it's emergency medical services, it's emergency calls. So like a 911 call here in the US, okay? So when we're talking about that, what is it gonna be like? The variety of 911 locations, for the most part, I'd say it's not a rule, but I'd say it's just pretty much on par. The majority of 911 locations just do 911s, but you'll find some private ambulance services or they have certain contracts in the area that might do emergent and or IFT non-emergent. Okay, we'll talk about that later on. Okay, a day in the life of doing 911 EMS, you're going to come in and you're going to take care of patients when they're at their worst. So, meaning they're calling 911. Now, if I asked you right now and you're watching this video. When's the last time you called 911? You probably never have. I hope you never have to. But if you do, it's, odds are it's probably your worst day. You're seeing the patient at their worst and there could be a life threat involved, okay? Or it could just be someone's worst day, okay? But that's EMS from 911 side. On the IFT side, something totally different. I'm gonna explain and why you might want to actually start with that first. Hear me out here. Now, what exactly is IFT? It's inner facility transport. So basically what it is, it's non-emergent travel via stretcher. Could be that a dialysis uh, transport to and from, a doc's appointment, someone leaving the hospital, someone going in for a procedure. What you gain from IFT is you will be, in most cases, the backup emergency provider with your ambulance. Like if things really, really get serious, they might say, hey, like we just need an ambulance. But that's not gonna happen on a weekly basis. It doesn't even happen on a monthly basis. If you are not emergent, you're gonna be not emergent, but it could happen a few times a year, okay? Now, with IFT, you're gonna get great vital signs. You're gonna get patient assessments and build patient rapport. And that is great because you're probably just getting out of school right now if you're watching this video. So there's more jobs available when you start getting out of school with IFT than 911. Is it possible to work 911 out of school? Yes, it is. Okay. But you have to put your plan together and what works best for you. You know, one ambulance service might be hiring entry level, one may not. It, it depends. You have to look at your general area, and every area is different. But what I can tell you is this. They're both great. They're both doing a great service. I recommend them both. But obviously, if your goal is to get into 911, that's where you want to be, you might need to start with IFT first. Get your feet wet, get experience, and then go in for that interview and say, look what I've been doing. I've been sharpening my tools. I've been sharpening my skills. And here I am for you. Make sense? Okay. I got one more message for you. If you're watching this video right now, I know you're someone that's passionate about what you do at EMS. You're probably someone who's preparing for school, in school right now, or getting ready for national rash, you're getting ready for the road, because you wanna learn about these different things. Well, here's what I've done. I've worked my butt off, literally, I worked my tail off, putting together a video study course for you to understand the core concepts to make you great at what you do. The link's in the description down below. You can see all the student results there. You get access to 180 plus videos, plus our private student group, and we're in the thousand strong inside that community group. So my friends, if you wanna learn more, you wanna prep for school, prep for national registry, it's all there, and I give you a lifetime access right now. Click the link in the description down below, check it out. I'll see you there. 
And thank you so much for all the kind words, comments, shout outs, likes. You all are awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Don't waste any time. Don't, don't be hesitant and just do it because I know this program works. And I know it's, it got me to where I was, where it's been a year without school from EMT to, hey, I passed my test in 70 questions. Like, go for it. You could do it. Like, do not hesitate and don't waste any time. People that don't know you, they need to, they need this program. This program is not a, a choice. To me, this program is a have to. I went through it. I, I spent the time and money in other areas. And I'm, I'm just gonna let you guys know that uh, this was everything I was searching for the whole time. The first couple of videos I watched, um, when I noticed it, it just, I, I just immediately started connecting dots um, on some of these things I, I didn't have grasped. Kept, oh, like everything that you were saying was just connecting all these, all these, you know, links inside my brain. And I, I just knew right then and there, um, I have to have this program. I have to have all the information that he's willing to give. I need all of it.